Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Reading Test for fourth graders. Our concept is Elements of Poetry. This is part three. Remember fourth graders, the time to be awesome is now. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, you can click the link in the description box to sign up for a th free 30-minute consultation. We have our fourth grade math and review reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The link is in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and smash the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload, but also spread the word about hype math and reading. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's talk about poetry. Poetry can tell a story, describe an object, or help readers to visualize in their minds pictures about a certain topic. It is a collection of words that express an emotion or idea, sometimes with a specific meaning, sound, or rhythm. Here are the elements of poetry. One is rhyme, words that end with the same sound. Our examples are can and man, sigh and try. But remember, fourth graders, poems do not always rhyme. Next, we have rhythm, the musical quality or beat. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, listen to the rain. For our third element of poetry, we have repetition, to repeat words, sounds, or phrases. Our example says, fall is pumpkins, fall is food, fall is leaves on me and you. We also have imagery, a vivid description using the five senses, which are see, feel, taste, hear, or smell. Our example says, the cat's tongue felt like sandpaper on my cheek. Number five, we have simile, comparing two things using the words like or as. The old dog is moving as slow as a snail. Our two things we're comparing are the old dog and also the snail, and the comparative words we're using are as. Number six, we have metaphor, comparing two different things. Our example is the garden of flowers were a rainbow of colors. Seven, we have alliteration, repeating beginning sounds. Monkeys make major messes. Our beginning sound is M for each word. Number eight is onomatopoeia, sounds like the noise or action. Our example says, chirp, 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 went the baby birds. Number nine is personification, makes a non-human thing seem human. Our example is the cat rang the doorbell to come inside. And number 10, we have free verse, poetry that lacks a consistent rhyme scheme, metrical pattern, or musical form. Our example is the fog comes on little cat feet it sits looking over harbor and city. Let's look at our poem. And again, you can purchase our fourth grade reading review workbook. The link is in the description box. Lens of Time by Phyllis McGinley. Time is peculiar and hardly exact. Though minutes are minutes, you'll find for a fact as the older you get and the bigger you grow, that time can hurry like this or plod, plod slow. Waiting for your dinner when you're hungry? 
down with the sniffles in your bed, notice how an hour crawls along and crawls along like a snail with his, with his house upon his head. But when you're starting a game in the park, it's morning, it's noon, and suddenly it's dark. And hours like seconds rush blurring by whoosh like a plane in the sky. So let's look at our comprehension questions for lengths of time. Number five says, read line 12 from the poem. Notice how an hour crawls along and crawls along. Is that a repetition, B, meter, C, a line break, or D, rhyme? And our hint is, and it also gives the answer, repetition to repeat words, sounds, or phrases. And the example we used is fall is pumpkins, fall is food, fall is leaves on me and you. And if you notice in line 12, it says, notice how an hour crawls along and crawls along. That is a repetition. Now let's look at number six. The first stanza is important to the poem because it, F, describes an experience the speaker enjoys, G, introduces the subject of the poem, H, identifies the setting of the poem, or J, reveals the speaker's feelings. So let's look at the first stanza of the poem. It says, time is peculiar and hardly exact. Though minutes are minutes, you'll find for a fact. So looking at the first stanza, does it F describe an experience the speaker enjoys? G introduces the subject of the poem. H identifies the setting of the poem or J reveals the speaker's feelings. The correct answer is G, it introduces the subject of the poem because all throughout the poem, we're talking about time. And that is it, fourth graders, for part three of our Elements of Poetry review. Remember, if you need a tutor, we have a link in the description box for parents to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. And we have our fourth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.